my channel myself Harshika so this is my new video on a divine privileged or the divine priority so in this video we discuss about the priorities the priorities there is a specific type or a very special type of priority or a very special type of divine immunity you can say it's a divine immunity you can uh, say it's a divine protection or the special divine guidance or the special priorities or the privilege these are the privileges are given some very very special species on our earth there are the three main types of species who receive this divine privilege or the divine priority first is our divine feminine the first uh, the first priority is giving to the divine feminine the reason why the divine is always giving the special opportunity or the special type of protection to the divine uh, divine feminine because the divine feminine are the more precautious than a divine masculine so i am not uh, just creating the stereotypes or not creating the difference okay, or means the god is creating the difference no there is a reason every single thing is happen in a universe there is a reason why the divine giving the special privilege or the priority to the divine masculine because this planet is actually the prison planet this planet is enslaved they, this planet markhabic field is already hijacked around uh, 5000 years ago this planet markhabic field is already hijacked and right now this planet is under control by the dark forces and the dark forces mainly target the feminine soul their main uh, like their main victim is a feminine then then the masculine so why they are targeting the feminine soul when uh, when a female when in a human female when she is choosing the wrong partner when she is giving her body to someone who don't love him when she give uh, gives her body to a man who don't love her the man is full of lust so at that time she is activating the dark portal because if you are doing sex without love without true love you you are having a sex with the lust so when you are emitting the energy of lust so so the lust is a very low type of energy or it's emitting a very very low kind of frequencies so these frequencies activated the lower dimension portal which is known as a dark portal so when a woman gives a gives her body to a man who don't love her who don't respect her the man is full of lust so at that time she is activating the portals these small micro portals she is not activating the huge a uh, very big portal at that moment she is activating a very few a very very few just like a point that kind of dark portals but these dark portals are connected with the lower dimensions means the 1d and 2d dimension and these dimension are are filled with high level of negative energy these dimension are also known as a black universe or the dark universe so when she is just having an intercourse with the wrong man the, or the man who don't love her giving her body to that man at that time these portals are activated and the demons are uh, just coming just entering in her spiritual bodies there is a lowest dimension powerful demon which is known as a chronocopia the chronocopia is one of the most powerful demon and they are entering in your spiritual body through a uh, intercourse this is a way this is just like a portal she is that when you activate that portal so the powerful cornucopia demon is entering in your spiritual body so when they are entering or breaking your auric field with this minor portals when they are entering so they are targeting your etheric body and etheric body is known as a chakras body we we just not having a physical body we have a multi-dimensional soul anatomy we have a etheric body emotional body mental body astral body casual body celestial body etheric template so this demon are mainly target your etheric body 
and when this demon is entering through this dark portal in your spiritual body they this demon target your etheric body hijacking your chakra system and they are just catch or creating the soul tie up they are catch your etheric body and take your etheric body into a lower dimension means this creating a major soul fragmentation and your etheric body are hijacked and they are taken just these port this mini portal has a huge power they can pull your body so they can pulling your etheric body in a lower dimension and in this dimension they are just completely tight your body your etheric body especially um, and different different types of demons continuously raping the female principle and you are no you are just no longer aware about your body you are you have a no longer awareness about your multi dimensional soul anatomy so you just don't know what is happening with your etheric body without your consent they are taking away your etheric body and tie your body in a lower astral plane and different different type of alien species demonic species less like uh, insects uh, insectocytes they are just doing a rape on your body and you are continuously breeding means they are putting the breeding implant in your womb chakra the chakra number 13 is completely hijacked and they are putting the implant the powerful and the painful implant which is known as a breeding implant in your womb chakra and because the effect of this implant your etheric body is continuously pregnant and delivering a etheric child continuously and you are no longer awareness of your etheric body because you are incarnated in a human world so in a human world you are only focusing in a physical body just like we have a heart lungs uh, kidneys and the biological you uh, uterus you are no longer connection with your deepest body your etheric body you don't know your chakras is activated or not your etheric nerve fiber is working or not same way you have a no long connection with your uh, womb chakra so this body is hijacked and taken away to the lower astral planes and in this astral plane they are continuously raping the feminine soul and she is continuously giving a birth continuously giving a birth etheric babies so and in this physical world she is living the normal life she she has she is having a work job husband family but no longer connection with their soul and without her consent their uh, their etheric self is stolen taken and used by the dark forces so this is happen in uh, in uh, in all the earth means most of the feminine souls are hijacked and their soul is going to be a fragment they are no longer awareness with the womb chakra energy they are they are not even connected their etheric body astral body they just don't know they are just living the life with a full of matrix but uh, the divine is already know the condition of a earth if you know about the nirvana the the galactic federation knows the condition of this planets so when the star child are incarnated in a earth when a divine family are incarnated in a human body they are giving the priority the special protection or the special type of immunity to the divine family first priority is giving to the divine feminine then they are giving the priority to the divine masculine because the protection of the divine feminine is more important uh, than the divine masculine because the dark forces are targeting the divine feminine first because they are creating a different different type of illusions different different type of deception the dark forces the demon demonic forces are the master of deceptionist they are creating many type of religion uh, religion traps like a society pressure family pressure to marry or like a family emotional manipulation to the to the divine feminine you have to marry you have to take care of your husband you have to take the responsibilities so there is a multiple type of traps 
so the so the divine are giving the special pro protection to the divine feminine because the divine feminine is, the meaning of a divine feminine is a devya stri means she is a brahmacharini tapasvini and a yogini means that woman is follow the celibacy the woman life she is doing the delicated spiritual practice like a tapasvini and she has a mystical powers or different different type of yogic siddhi already has so that's why she is a very very important and more precautious than a divine masculine so that's why divine is giving the priority to the divine feminine the next priority or the next prevalence giving to the etheric children the second class or the second type is a etheric child so the etheric child is a unborn spirit child these uh, these two children are in the energy of the unmanifested just like in a tantra there is a two form of a divine mother first is a form of mahakali so the mahakali is a energy who is manifested this, this is a energy of a manifested same way another form of the divine mother is a guhe kali so this is a form which is known as unmanifested energy where means the things are just like un, unmanifested same way when a child in a mother womb so in a 9 month the child is in a energy of unmanifested energy the energy of a guhe kali but when the child is giving the birth she is in a energy of mahakali same way the etheric children is in the energy of unmanifested energy or the energy energy of guhe kali ke so these children need a high level of protection because they are the etheric child they are not incarnated in a physical form they are the soul they are the soul which is actually uh, building like in the stage of grown up stage means slowly slowly their etheric bodies are created emotional body mental body and the astral body they are in a etheric womb or in a cosmic womb chakra they are not in a physical body so the dark forces are specially targeting these etheric babies they are doing a multiple or the extreme level of black magic attacks to them they are doing a different different type of uh, spell casting different different type of alien machineries and they are keep trying to hijacking the womb chakra so these uh, these children are needs a very high level of protection because they are manifested in this 3d world and the dark forces are keep trying to stop these babies they don't want this etheric child manifesting in this 3d human body 3d human world they wants to stop them so they are using a multiple types of etheric weapons to creating the etheric abortions or the etheric um, etheric miscarriage or stealing this etheric child so these children need a high level of immunity so the divine are giving the priority or prevalence to the etheric babies now the third type of prevalence are giving to the star childs and the ascendant human souls so the ascendant human souls are actually the earth seeds means they are the child of the mother earth when the first time the planet earth is created so with this planet this uh, mother energy of gaia or the mother energy of earth the mother earth creating the souls the earth seed and giving these 12 souls a power the mother earth first creating a 12 type of souls and these 12 12 types of souls are known as a earth seeds so these earth seeds are known as ascended human souls means they are the original earth angels and right now incarnated in a human form and they are in a ascension journey they are working for the planet earth they are working for the humanity so these ascendant souls are targeted uh, by the dark forces so the dark forces are creating a different type of troubles and challenges means they are creating like legal issues uh, legal issues in their lives they are creating the financial issues they are stealing their money or the job opportunity to make these souls are trap so 
because for this protection so this is the like responsibility of a divine they are providing the food money clothes the jobs to the ascendant human souls because the ascendant human souls is just like a life force of this planet so this is a third priority giving to the ascendant human souls and the ascendant human soul are known as a earth angel so they are very powerful and the same way highly intelligent like a star seeds so now the four type of priority after this ascended human soul the next priority is given to the star children means the divine always giving the special doors or the special window of opportunity to the star children specially and giving the high level of protection high level of love to the star children but this protection this special opportunity has a limit when the star child is do not committed their soul purpose when they are not able to accepting their true divine mission they are focusing in a 3d desires they are not choosing the ascension journey not choosing their real purpose or not uh, accepting their divine marriage if the star child betray their divine marriage not marry their partner means do not marry their original twin flame and choosing a karmic partner so that priority is over means that special type of divine protection or the divine privilege is over when a star star child choosing a man or the woman on a earth and having a child or creating a relationship and betraying their true purpose or betraying their true divine marriage so their special priorities or the special protection is completely over so this is the special priorities are giving to the earth so because the everyone uh, i can say everyone is important but the nirvanas the higher angels or the celestial beings are working for only those people or the only those species who are ready to accept the change who are committed to their soul purpose but those people who are running for their true purpose they are not giving this priority to them because the law of karma is also very important so this is my new video on the divine providence or the divine priority hope you like this video so if you like my videos please do like subscribe and share and if you interested in a private peer readings you can email me and um, if you want uh, want to learn a new level of sadhana or a spiritual practice you can email me so my book is available on amazon kindle if you want you can read it for a deep knowledge on the chakras so thank you so much for watching